First Sergeant Kep here with Company D, 2nd United States Sharpshooters, along with Captain Whitehall. And today in Sharpshooter Men's, we wanted to talk to you briefly about available options for frock coats for, for Berdan Sharpshooters. Now, Captain Whitehall has done a complete write-up on this on our website at secondusss.com if you have any further questions. Um, if there's something that we don't cover in here or online on our website, be sure to leave a question down in the comments below. So, the first thing I want to point out is well, these very common Pakistan made frock coats. They're fairly available. They're the least expensive. <clears throat> but right away you kind of see some things that really stand out. It's just not right. The piping is way, way too bright. And you can also see on this like practically neon green chevron compared to the proper color chevrons on my sack coat here. So those are some kind of yeah, maybe not the best for historical accuracy. <clears throat> the other thing you can do, um, you'll see, is they have all the brass buttons as opposed to the hard rubber buttons that would have been issued on the Berdan sack coats. The rest is fairly quality made, modern uh, stitching and assembly procedures. Um, a solid, solid coat, you know, if you need something a little warmer or your unit really expects you to have uh, uniformity in your frock coats, you might kind of, this might be one way to go. These ones you can expect to spend one to two hundred dollars depending on the sutler that you go through. But for about one hundred and fifty dollars, you can get a Wamba White sack uh, kit and sew it yourself and have something with a high grader authenticity as well as better quality for your impression. So there's one option. The other one, which is also quite common, and this is my first frock coat that I got, and I had this one custom made through Regimental Quartermaster. I paid about $275 for this. And you can you can see the piping along the collar is uh, already several shades darker for an improvement. Um, I have standard issue for Sergeant Chevrons on that one. This is why they, they, they mix match. And <clears throat> you get just generally a better look. Again, modern construction methods. Uh, I typically only wear this when it gets really cold or my wife will wear it when it gets cold out. Um, I did not purchase the hard rubber buttons for mine. Instead, I took uh, an old trick that many of us Berdans use is you get um, rubber tool coating and you dip your buttons and that way you can save money and um, dip your brass buttons in the hard rubber. But as you can see, they eventually wear off, especially where your, your belt buckle rides and some of your more heavily used buttons. Other people paint them, you know, and again, you still have the same wearing issue. High quality, um, not perfectly historically accurate, but definitely a far step up to the Pakistani ones. And this last one <coughs> is Private Turnins <coughs> with the proper Hainsworth wool, so it's super dark. The piping uh, is the darkest of all um, the frocks that we have here today. She also has the proper hard rubber buttons on her frock all the way around for additional authenticity. And one thing you also notice when you get the uh, truly authentic materials is the, the, the weight difference in construction and the materials. Um, nicely sewn, they uh, minimized, uh, you, not, you don't have any surged seams along here. So you're not gonna like peek inside and see modern construction methods right away. Um, let's see. Uh, Private Turnin, um, how much did you end up paying for this? I can't remember. Can't remember? <laughs> the, the only problem with this is the, the Hainsworth is pretty expensive and it usually has to be imported. So it's usually about, equals out to about 55 to $60 per meter. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> um, but this is the, the biggest bang for your buck right here. If you're going to spend the money, go this way. Um, where, do you know some good places where to get these rubber buttons? I know I just come across them by accident. I think sometimes I've seen them on eBay. Only ones of these proper type were uh, made by Nicholas Sakela. Uh, however, he's not making them anymore. Oh. But I am working on ways to replicate these with a hard uh, rest. Oh, very cool. So still in the works, but nothing, nothing too done yet. Yeah. Because um, in a lot of uh, more typical impression stuff, you can actually buy uh, original items, uh, but a, a single Berdan frock button 
on eBay is usually goes for about $295. You figure you're looking at what, 15, 20 buttons on a Berdan frock? <laughs> for extras and everything, yeah. <laughs> yeah that, that, that adds up pretty quick. Um, I have original buttons on my sack coat and I uh, worked with a button guy. I think I paid $45 for all original buttons on my sack. So I hope this kind of presented you some uh, viable options as you build your Berdan Sharpshooter impression. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe